Now I request Professor Muhammad Hussain Karim, Counsel for Science, Technology and Education for India and Subcontinent, to present welcome address. First of all, I thank uh, the organizer of this seminar, all participants and dignities, particularly Professor Aziz Banu, uh, Professor Taghi Khan, Professor Ziauddin Sheikh, Shiri Ahmedullah, and uh, also Professor Muhammad Mian, and particularly His Excellency Mr. Safari, and uh, my colleagues uh, from students, uh, Shafi and Abdi, for their attempts to organize a very good seminar here. And uh, I am very thankful for organizing and inviting me here. At the same time, I congratulate on the occasion of Milad nabi and also the 33 anniversary of Iran Revolution and Independence Day. Meanwhile, I excuse and apologize from His Excellency of our ambassador's side that he was busy with Independence Day program and press interview today, and tomorrow he will be here for validity program, inshallah. In Persian, Aziz Banu may follow my sayings that there is a sentence or a sayings that Tawana Bobad Harka Dahna Bobad. In some sense, Tawana Bud Harka Dahna Bud. Is it? Hazrat Ali says that knowledge is power. And uh, so we have to be very thankful to God that our business is education business. Talim or ta'allum sabse wajibat bhi ziyada wajib hai. Jo unki talim or ta'allum nahi hai, jahil hai. Haan, wo jo jahil hai, andere mein hai. Wo unki danish hai, ilm hai, to unki matlab دماغ کے پتی چالو ہے جانتے ہیں کیا کرو روشنائی میں ہے روشنائی اور اندری کتنا فرق ہے اتنا فرق بھی دانش اور جاہل کے فرق ہے فاصلہ زیاد ہے نہیں اور ہم لوگ بہت خوشحال ہے یہ ہمارے خوش نصیبی ہے کہ ہمارے بزنس ایڈوکیشن بزنس ہے and we are very happy that we are here in this university and I hope that we be able to bring name of this university also among other 46 recognized university by Iran government in <laughs> India. The title of seminar is very good, but there is one question also. How sustainable development in this new modern globalization? Everyone is talking about globalization. What? How? It is possible without justice? No. Is it possible without human right? No. If you get knowledge for your own path and method, not sustainable development, temporary or anyhow, for your own benefit, without justice, without human rights, there will be no positive globalization. There will be no positive and favorable sustainable development and globalization at the same times. This is my first thing. Other two sentences I want to tell you because a lot of dignities which I welcome them again and this is very appreciated your attempt and your presence here to be with you. This is one of my best time today, this day, this month, this year that I was invited here to be with you so I want to use your advice also. But my second point is this, that in oriented countries, or we say in Orient, either Eastern countries, I believe and accept only, only Indian and Iranian universities, which they have something to say. Some countries in Eastern, there might be development, but not from the viewpoint of university and knowledge. They may produce very best electronic items, but overall, over they are not with the good 
and very, very, very national and international level universities. But in India, we have universities that their age may be more than 150 years. In Iran also, we have universities that their age may be about 100 years. So if we consider, we can say that in Orient, two countries, they have good universities, which there is no limitations for quality and quantity, Iran and India. But there might be some slight changes which I explain you. In Indian university, there is no limitation for quality and quantity. But in Iran, we don't have limitation for quantity, but we have limitation for quality. So that's why my Iranian dear students are here with you, that we have some limitation in, qu in quantity, not quality. And I hope that in future, in future, there be no limitations in quantity and quality in Iran as well as in India. This is very interesting thing. I am very proud as an Iranian and Eastern person to tell you that I have done my education, you know most of you, graduation in Karnataka, post-graduation in Delhi, and PhD in Banaras Hindu University. And I am very happy of that. I am not thinking that why I have been not studying in some other countries, because here I found so many things that in some other countries might be not there. At least 5,000 year common, cult common civilization, culture, history, and heritage of India and Iran. Listen, when we had a book in India, Panchayatat Tandra, Ganjul Ganj, Kalila Damna, Shatranj, other things, and even quantitative, from zero to nine from India to Iran, okay? And then after that, we had a common history about Rostam and Sorab, Leili Majnun, Taj Mahal, and so many other places like Persepolis. There were no so many countries which know it is, they are there in Middle East area. It means handmade countries, handmade countries in Middle East, that their age may be not more than 50 years, but over common heritage, culture and, civil, culture and civilization goes for more than 5,000 years. We, Iranian and India, we are very proud of our culture and civilization. In all over the world, we have about 170 million students. What is Indian share? Do you know that? 20 million Indian students. And what about Iranian share? 4 million Iranian students. Out of 170 million. What it shows, this is an index that these nations, they are privileging, they are willing, they have attention to education and university. This is an index and criteria that we have attraction to education. That out of 170, 20 in India and four in Iran, they be students. And in Iran, we have at least, I can tell you, about 400 medical and non-medical governmental university. Then Payam Nur, then Azad University, Payam Nur University, then Applied Science Institutes, and at the same time, about 274 private universities. Totally, we have more than 2,400 university institutions and education, higher education institutes in Iran. But only 10% are higher education students out of our four millions. And in India also, about half million students are in higher education. And more than 19 million, they are in bachelor and postgraduate. They are not in PhD courses. So what I want to say, this gap should be filled up. We have to do more concentration on higher education, particularly on PhD. And at the same time, we should take care about the quality education. Excellent education with it border. Is it the same thing 
excellent education without border, for good education anywhere in, in, in the world. We have to search for that. And you know that Iran and India share in international science production and education production is between 10 to 20. Worrying, maybe in some sense, in some field, maybe 10, 8, 15, but not after 2022. What it shows? It shows that these nations, they are trying for their own independent education. They are trying for their own independent science. They are trying for their own independent life. They are trying for their own independent sustainable development. They are trying for their own relationship, not getting dictated from the others. Since they are non-alignment movement countries, since they are developing countries, and they know about future, what to talk and how to plan, since they are using their previous and civilization heritage. At the same time, what I want to say here, that we are revising recognition and evaluation of Indian universities, same as UK universities, same as European universities, same as American universities, same as Canadian universities, same as Australian universities, but our appetite is more for Indian universities rather than Western universities and other Eastern universities. Because we have so many things common which we don't have this common heritage with some other countries. We know that we are safer here rather than some other Western countries. That's why my final points may be this one, that even we are ready in future to give a scholarship for graduate students and postgraduate students which they are introduced and recommended from India by our general consulate and some other universities and dignities which are sitting here. We can provide yearly at least 100 scholarship students. This powerfully I am telling you that we may be not able to provide a scholarship for PhD students, but we are ready to provide a scholarship for graduate and postgraduate students, particularly from Indian. Any minority, but they should be very excellent and top in marks and study. It doesn't make what they are, which religious, but they should be high class, first class, higher education. So we will, you select them, recommend them to us, we will give them a scholarship. This is my promise to you here in this conference and in this seminar. And at the same time, my colleagues and dear Iranian students, they are your guests here in India. So what I wish, I wish that my dear Iranian students be very good guests in India. And I wish also, and I hope that you also, my Indian colleagues also, be very, be very good hosts in India for them. And be know, be sure that they will be not here more than two years, five years, maximum eight years. And if more than eight, myself, I did my graduation, post-graduation and PhD within eight, nine years. After that, I went back to home. So if I was staying here more than eight, 10 years, it means that I am doing some other business. I am not studying. Any Iranian student, you see that if more than his or her company is staying in India, you, should, you are free to make a doubt on him. You make a big question mark on his head or her head that doing something else, not studying. And they should be monitored. They should be considered what they are doing here. Because we don't have any other business and job for Iranians in India, except studying. And foreigners working in India is prohibited. Is it or not? No foreign can work in India. So including Iranians. So what, what it means? Only they can study and then go back home. They cannot work here, legal or illegal, professional or non-professional. And at the same time, last sentence, I am very, very thankful to the organizers, consulate general colleagues, students colleagues, which they have tried to reduce the cost and expenditure of this conference. No, it is. There is no value for expending more and more for conference. There is value for 
quality and quantity. Listen a story. You know why I brought this? Do you know what is this? Rice bag? Is it rice bag? Basmati bag rice? No. This is seventh international conference of Asian Society of Agricultural Economics. Three months ago was held in Vietnam. I have presented five full papers there. This CD, full paper, and this booklet for abstracts. Five papers I have presented there. I went for presentation, but they gave me only this bag. How much it cost? How much it cost? No value for this rice bag. But value is inside the papers. You should try as Iranian and Indian if you want to be independent. You should reduce cost. Kamkaro Ezzat Barado. Oroski Barabar or Baju. Education ke quality barado. You have to increase the quality of education. You have to decrease the cost. Be simple, but very proud of your knowledge. You know, for everything you try in the world, as a house, land, property, there might be something like ye haris log hai. Huh? Talim or ta'allum haris ki kui jaga nahi hai. Danish or elm, talim or ta'allum ke liye haris hona chahiye. Huh? Dusre chiz ke liye, begher elm chiz ke liye haris nahi hona chahiye. You should be trying for your best knowledge and education with less expenditure. And meanwhile, as an educational counselor and director of all Iranian students in India and subcontinent, including Nepal, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, Maldives, Pakistan, I request Indian dignities to reduce the duration of research visa issuing for my PhD students who are willing to come to India. Sometimes it takes more than two years' time. See, there is no question of giving positive reply or negative reply. This is your right to reject or to accept to provide research visa, as we do against others. This is your right also to do that. But our request is this, you do it within six months, not two years. Because otherwise there will be opportunity burning for my students. If they be sure that Indian they don't receive them, and they don't want to give them research visa and accept them as a guest, they will change their direction for other countries like Malaysia, like UK, like Australia, like Canada, and they will use their time. But since they have applied to Indian embassy in Tehran, it means that first priority has been given to Indian country. And it, it is meaningful. Since they have been applying for Indian universities. We expect, we expect that time of issuing research visa we increase. So they have warning me. Amare jo baat karna, jo teachers log aise hi dignity saab. Thagri shuru karne ke liye bahot koila train hai. Isse aaram, aaram, aaram shuru karte hai. They have to, you know, give something. When the teachers, they start talking and a speech, unko rokna mushkil hai. You have to put a gun on, on their head and say that, hey, stop your talking. So that's why the first, the first int came that you, 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 you. So I am afraid now that before closing my hands and mouth and tell me see somewhere it is better to finish my talk on the uh, basis of uh, uh, dignities willing. And at the same time, I want to use the time and listen to their speech and advice also. Thank you very much.